Welcome everyone. This is Debbie Mayberry with National Kitchen and Bath Association. You are starting out this month with store design trends. Today's session is called How to Increase Profits and Customer Satisfaction with Interior Storage. Jamie Goodwin, who's the uh, Regional Western Sales Manager with Kessa Boomer USA is here. We want to have a shout out to Hedick for sponsoring all of our webinars and Jamie, we're ready to roll. Thank you so much. Great. Thanks, Deb. Appreciate that very much. Hey, I also want to introduce um, my wing person. Um, Laura Baudet is there. So if there are chat questions at all that you want to ask during the presentation, I will be the one answering them. Laura will be glad to try to get an answer out to you and stuff. If it's something that you can't answer, then she'll hold them to the end of the presentation and try to cover those questions at that point. So let's get started. St again, thanks again for Headache for sponsoring this this week or this month. Uh, very much appreciate the opportunity. So um, getting started with my presentation, again, I'm Jamie Goodwin, Western Regional Manager. Um, my background's uh, um, not unique to a lot of players that are in, in this market. Um, I've been five years with Kessmoomer, 20 years with Accuride, uh, nine years before that with uh, Lumber and Plywood Distribution, and 11 years as a cabinet maker. So my whole life of career my, um, has been within the woodworking industry, and I love it, and hopefully, that comes out in my presentation and the energy that I have for and energy and passion I have for it. So let's get started. Um, little introduction to Kessel Boomer itself. Um, we're a German company um, and uh, this is actually our uh, mothership. This is uh, Bedassen, Germany, about, uh, I don't know, two hours northeast of Cologne. Um, this is our main facility. Um, we are a family business, been owned and operated by the family since 1954, um, sold to 60 countries worldwide, eight plants in Germany, two in Hungary, two in China, over 2,500 employees worldwide. Those five uh, divisions that we have there, uh, kitchen furnishings is the biggest, and that's uh, the, the main product that's made in our Bad Assen, uh facility there, store fixtures, um, ergonomic fittings, um, automotive and RV fittings. We happen to be one of the largest uh, platers in all of Europe, which makes us very attractive to the auto industry and stuff. One of our, um, well, it's not a side business anymore. It's a major business um, is plating for the auto industry for a lot of their exhaust fix fixtures and stuff. Bottom line for us is, is that uh, we are German, uh, designed, engineered, and manufactured. Um, we consume over 80,000 tons of steel annually. Um, again, I kind of introduced the chroming process that we do. It's a 16 step process. And like I said, we are one of the biggest uh, chrome platers in, in Europe and uh, we're very well known for our quality of plating. Um, we have our own patent on our arena shelves, which is a non-slip surface that uh, allows for even a shelf to be at 30 degrees and not have your items slide off of it. Not that we're asking you to put a shelf in at 30 degrees, but we are asking you to move our product in or out or swing in and out. Um, and in, in that non-slip surface, it doesn't allow those products, you know, to shuffle around on the shelf itself. Along with that is an epoxy coat that's on the bottom surface there to be able to adhere the, the wire railing to our, um, our the shade, the, excuse me, the shelf of the product. Um, we also have different uh, soft closing features, soft stop, soft stop plus, and then soft stop pro, all in a dampening, whether it's um, in the soft close position or soft open position. It truly is the excellence of interior storage solutions. So in order to get this started, I actually wanted to go into a little bit of history. So um, bear with me for this, it'll be short. Um, so convenience hardware history, you know, it really started the improvement of, of cabinets or the advancement of cabinets actually started after World War II. Uh, plywood and particle board were products of World War II and it totally changed the industry. And that's where the whole industry changed and where convenience hardware is able to add into it. So up until that point, it was all face frame construction in the beginning. And now it shares the market with frameless construction. Frameless has moved the market into more innovative products that, that started with hinges and drawer slides. Um, the products that we use now are not the same products that were used in the beginning. We, we moved from leaf hinges to European hinges. We went from wood-sided drawers, drawer boxes to 
white epoxy, three quarter extension, and then ball bearing slides, and now undermount slides. It's been a whole transition of, of, of uh, hardware that's happened within the kitchen industry. So as that market matured, um, our convenience hardware really enters into the game. It, it, it got to the point of maturity that, you know, it wasn't accepted to just have fixed shelves or open drawers um, without any kind of convenience, convenience about them. So um, on we go to what we've created. So then in the 90s um, brought us new ideas. Um, that was a, a pinnacle point um, within, you know, the convenience hardware where people were looking at lazy Susan, base pullouts, wall cabinets, pantries, what, um, waste pullouts. All of those were new concepts to just an open, you know, open up the door and just see a shelf or open up a drawer and just see an open drawer. So the convenience of it came into play. They were made of mostly wood and plastic, but they weren't uniform across the board. So you had some items that were wood, like a base pullout or whatever, and then you had Lazy Susans that had polymer shelves. You know, so there wasn't that continuity through all the products that were available at the time. So since then, it has begun with truly the, 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 uh, the innovation of product um, into the kitchen and in a more sleek, more, I dare to use the word modern because that can scare people away from thinking modern that it's an ultra modern type style or anything. No, it's just a, an updated approach to convenience hardware that has a continuity that goes all the way through the product line. So let's get started with those examples. So as you can see, these are some of the finishes that we offer uh, and railings that we offer for our product. Um, it's quite different from the old wood style or polymer style type of uh, product that you've had, you know, since the 90s and stuff. So in that case there, we have that opportunity to be able to, uh, you know, introduce new items to it, new colors and stuff. So we started out with just the, the chrome white railing that you see in the center here, um, chrome maple, and then into the champagne. Those were kind of our progression. And then we introduced this chrome anthracite this year. Um, which is a flat rail style with a dark gray interior. So now you're adding color to your cabinet convenience items, which is certainly helping, you know, in the sense of enhancing your interiors, you know, for your clients um, to be able to use and be attracted to. Um, and the other thing that we're doing is a continuity across the board. So this same, whether it's the wire frame or this flat rail um, railing that's going around there, it's carried out through all of our product lines. So from a pantry unit to a wall cabinet to a base cabinet, this same look continues all the way through your kitchen. So let's look at some of those examples. So the first one, starting off with some pantry units, um, this is our dispense unit. It's a simple pull out, um, you know, push back in unit itself. Um, it's got soft close to the, um, the soft, closed section of it and then it's got a dampener to the to the out stop so um in both the 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 coming and going of the of the unit itself there it's dampened in both ways it's advanced in the sense of synchronized runner which means that all the parts in in the parts of the main body which is the runner at the bottom it's a three-part system you got an outer an inner and a intermediate uh, members that go along with it and they open up in a sequence to order. So you're always gonna have the same feel pulling it in and pushing it back in. It's adjustable shelves. Um, we offer 10 different widths. So no longer is it just the three inch increments that you've been you know, held to within other convenience hardware, where now you've got a range that, that's from three, in, well actually on this one here, it's eight inches to 20 inches and you've got 10 widths. So we almost sell it on the inch. So hopefully you see that as a, as a positive in the sense that you've got the ability to be able to, you know, you don't have to start with that one, a, a unit that's just a three inch increment that if you needed to shorten up or narrow up a unit or whatever it might be, that you can either narrow mine up or widen mine up by having that adjustability for it. So the height range goes from 30 and a half to 90 and a half inches. So you can do that full height unit. Part of the beauty of what we have is, is that our products were made originally for just frameless applications. Well, those frameless applications actually enhance a frame, face frame application also. 
because of the way that I have to be able to control those those tolerances that had to be kept with a frameless application where you've got eighth inch reveals, they also help in the movement of the slide that I don't have the type of resistance that other products have um, in that movement. So I've got a superior movement that happens with the product um, all the way through our product line um, to be able to make a more free flowing system for it. And then in addition to it, we've got a 265 pound load rating for it. So each one of these, I'll try to show some of the uh, products in a live demonstration um, from the video itself. Um, but again, just in the sake of time, moving on, um, another pantry unit we have is a tandem unit. We have two different heights here on this particular unit. What's unique about this one is, is that it's got a door rack and then it's got the rear shelves in the back. With the swing of the door, you're gonna swing this unit open. The, the door rack is gonna come out with the door. The back sec section of the shelves are gonna to move to the front of the cabinet. Now, that's not necessarily new, but what's very new about it is the fact that there is no weight on that door whatsoever. So the problems that we've had in the past with pantry units similar to this is, is that you've had the door rack screwed to the back of the door, which is gonna put weight on the door, which is gonna cause stress on the hinges, which is gonna cause sag in the door. Well, in a 32 millimeter system or a frameless system, you can't have that sag because you have to be able to maintain those eighth inch reveals. If, if not, you're gonna run into the door on next to it or above it or below it, whatever the case might be. So in this case here, just to prove the point in the way that this works is, is that you can literally remove this door and this unit still swings on its own. The only reason why it's connected to the door is because it has to follow the swing of the door. So it's a different type of application for a different type of pantry unit. This one uh, can also be uh, mounted. This shown in the picture here as a single can also be a double where you're putting side by side. So you swing the two doors opposing each other, which opening it up and giving you free clear space to see you know, both sides of it and seeing all the contents in your kitchen or in your cabinet. So again, a video. So which is one pull you're able to swing open and you can see the back set of trays are moving to the front of the cabinet. So it's giving you access to everything right there in the front of the cabinet itself. Tandem Solo is another choice. Um, what's different about this one is this one actually brings the shelves three quarters of the travel outside the cabinet. So the trays are moving outside of the cabinet. Um, this also works with the swing of the door. So as you're swinging this door open, the trays are all moving to outside of the cabinet itself, giving you more exposure. So in this case here, you've got exposure on the front and either on the left or right side. Um, they're all unhanded products, so you can mount it to the left or right in any way that you go. So again, a video of this. So now we move into the Levito. Levito is our, our most premium product. This has got, um, in my opinion, all the bells and whistles that you would ever want in a pantry unit and probably more. Um, so with one pull, you're gonna pull this um, full extension all the way out of the cabinet. Um, you're gonna have access to both sides and the front at that point because the door is gonna you know, swing, um, you know, whatever it is, 110, 120 or 160 degrees out of the way. Um, and you're able to have that type of access. We've got four different heights to this and three different widths. Um, what's unique about this one is, is that it, it's got quality written all over it. It's got that glass around on it, which is giving you that look of, of quality. And not only that, the ability to be able to see everything on the shelf, um, not being impeded by any kind of railing or anything. Um, it's got a soft open and a soft close, and both of these are mechanical. So it literally takes over, even with the outstroke, as you're pulling that out there the last two and a half inches, it's gonna grab it and it's gonna pull it all the way to that full extension uh, past that two and a half inches in a soft, very elegant looking movement on it. So if this particular picture doesn't look good enough for you, we also have this available in with a straight line program, which is our drawer organizing program, 
um, which you're able to add to this and add to the elegance. I have to admit that the majority of applications that this particular product gets used in is more in the size of uh, a bar or a buffet, somewhere where really somebody wants to show off what they own, whether it's their flatware, their, their stemware, their, their liquor that they've got. Um, it's, usually, it's a lot of times put um, behind glass doors so that you can see through it and see that elegance. So a video of that particular product is here. Again, you're pulling it out, having great exposure on three sides to be able to run with it. And again, it's a, just a very high quality type product, very much of a display item. So now we're moving into wall cabinets. Um, uh, we start off first with um, our iMove. Our iMove is a, is a unique product, um, not unique to everybody in the marketplace. We have other products out there that are similar to this, but not in the same way that this is operational. So. Um, this one is done without spring, so you don't hear any of the spring movement in it. It's a double arc system. So what it does is it, it swings out and then down. So as it swings down, it comes one full shelf level below. So you're able to take this and pull this down. We don't affect the bottom shelf of the cabinet. That You choose what height you want to put this in. If you want 10 inches clearance, you set it up for a 10 inch clearance. And as you pull the unit out, it has that ability to be able to have that clearance that you've set up and not knock over those items and pull out and swing down. We sell it in both a double and a single um, unit. So you're affecting, um, you're not affecting the bottom shelf though. In a single, you're affecting the number two shelf. And in a double, you're affecting the number two and number three shelf um, to be able to pull it down one full step lower. Um, it is one of those items that this is a three inch increment. Um, so we have sizes from 21 to 36 inches um, and we have face frame and frameless versions of this. And that would be unique to whatever cabinet style that you're buying would fit to those sizes. Video on that here. As you can see, it pulls out and then down in that double arc swing so that you're able to clear the items um, from the shelf below. Next one would be our spice rack. Um, the spice rack, um, it's an unhanded product. It can be mounted both on the, either on the door or on a set of slides as you pull it out. So you've got that capability or that choice to do that. The slides would be an accessory item that you would order along with it. Um, we've got tray sizes from widths that are three to five inches. Um, this would fit into uh, a standard depth cabinet, uh, a wall cabinet. I need um, 11 inches clearance inside to be able to, you know, clear and, you know, have the door closed there. Next one would be our twister. Our twister is a very unique item in the sense that this is a diagonal, upper diagonal corner unit. So this would go in your corner unit. Um, in most cases, you're going to see that the post would come down in the center of the tray, um, then impeding the type of items that you would like to put in there, plates, platters, whatever it might be. With the post there, it basically becomes a glorified spice rack. But if you're able to do what we've done in the sense of putting the post to the back of the shelf, um, you're now opening that up to be able to put more items, larger items within that and not be impeded by that rail in the center of the tray. So we sell this in, a, in two different styles. It's a three stack, three shelf unit, or a four, or excuse me, a two or a three shelf. We have three different frame heights to be able to carry a range of 26 to 42 inches uh, and a quarter tall. So infinite height adjustment on the shelves there. So there are no shelf hooks that you had to be aware of or, or had to be held to. You can make these opening sizes or the height sizes between shelf to shelf on your own. It's got an 18 pound load capacity per shelf. So with the three shelf, multiply times three, two times two. So here's a copy of the Twister. Hi, I'm Cindy. I'm a product specialist with Casanova in Boston. I'm here at IWF to show you the Twister. The Twister is a wall angled corner Susan. What makes it different from other Susans is that the post is actually offset. So instead of having a post running through the center of your Susan, it's actually at the back. 
This makes your space more usable. You can fit larger items on each shelf as opposed to having to put spices or small items around the center post. It comes in two different options. You have two or three shelves depending on the height of your cabinet. The shelves are adjustable with little set screws so you can move them to any point where you want. For more information, check our website at cleverstorage.com where you can get pictures and technical specs for the twister. That's a good opportunity for me to let you know about our website itself. Um, Catchtheboomer.com is certainly available. Um, I wouldn't want to frustrate you though, because as I mentioned, we sell products all, all around the globe and um, you would see all of those products. And here in the US market, we're unique in our depth and height of cabinets. So cleverstorage.com is our main contact area for our website to be able to get any kind of information that you've got um, for any one of the products. Next one I would talk about is basically um, uh, the, the Le Mans itself. And this is our signature product. When think of, people think about Kessel Boomer, they think about the Le Mans itself. Um, we sell it in four different widths. Um, it can be a left or right hand swing, 55 pound load grading uh, for uh, the shelf itself or each one of the shelves. Um, the opening start at 14 inches wide. We were able to add a narrower width to it. Um, I believe that was last year. Uh, to be able to get down to those very narrow openings um, for those applications. Um, what is very, very unique about this particular product is, is that, um, as in this picture here, if you were to move that appliance next to the Le Mans itself there, I've got an adjustment block on the bottom side of the tray that allows you to be able to affect the swing angle. So if you were to have this in the full swing, and that stove or range would be immediately next door to it, um, you would actually hit that unit. So the bottom line is, is that I've got a block that you're able to adjust, so it reduces the amount of swing angle that's there. So you have the ability to be able to clear that appliance and not hit it or dent it or whatever it might be. And in the severe situations that you've got, you know, a commercial stove that might got stick out, you know, three or four inches past the depth of the cabinets, I've got a restrictor clip that can be on there added to it also, which won't allow that cat or this, the shelf to be able to swing out past the length of the cabinet itself. So you would never hit that unit um, in that type of application that is sticking way out there into the, into the, the kitchen area there and stuff. So, um, so one of the unique things about this is that once you've determined the size of the unit that you're gonna use for the opening, uh, there is no need for a tape measure to be installed. As we have a very, very nice installation gauge that helps you to install the three component parts that need to be screwed to the walls and the floor itself there. So very easy to install. And if you've never seen it in action, here's your video. Uh, shelves swing independently of themselves. 95% of the shelf is pulled out from the cabinet itself. So this is the same product, but used in what we would call as a blind pantry unit. So this is obviously a, a, a massive unit to be able to store a lot of different products um, into it. So same criteria hits with it, 55 um, pounds per shelf and left or right swing. So here's a picture of that, what that would look like in what's very popular over in Europe called the high board. So you basically got two units that you're adding to it. We've got a high board kit, which allows you to be able to extend that, to be able to have both sets of hardware hung on the same set of uh, hardware items. Um, so it makes it very, very simple to be able to make this happen. For us, where we use it, it usually goes to the bottom of the upper cabinets there. So it's a uh, you know, 54 inch tall height, somewhere in that range, depending upon how tall your backsplash is. And it really is an area that handles a lot of different items. So moving on to that, well, what used to be the mainstay, you know, from the beginning and stuff is Lazy Susans themselves. We have two different types. We have the Super Susan, which is the top picture, which is a Susan that has its own swivel. So it would be mounted on a fixed shelf and be able to swivel around, have no post to be able to impede you in any way and what you want to put in there or or transfer in there or move around. Um, the other one is the, the legendary Lazy Susan. So the Lazy Susan for us, we've got uh, two different options to go on it. The picture that you're seeing there is what's known as a tripod post, 
which is a post that does that isn't full height. I've got a full height post to complement that also. But the uh, tripod post is very popular with us, so at least it allows you to be able to pass things through there, um, at least on the top shelf that you're not impeded with that that shelf going all the way up. So it kind of clears the path to be able to organize your unit itself. Um, and then uh, for the large percentage of customers in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic, um, certainly the Revo um, is a product. And this is a Lazy Susan that where the doors collapse uh, into themselves and then rotate inside the cabinet, pivoting all the way around and then coming out and butterflying back open into the position that it started in. So again, the door, the beauty of this is that the doors are not moving out into your kitchen space area, that they're actually you know, collapsing and spinning inside the cabinet, which makes it very convenient to be able to you know, get into this area without having to move past the door itself. So it's a pretty slick operation there in that sense there. It's got a lot of adjustment that goes into it, not only the height of the shelves, but to be able to make the doors look and, 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 and function correctly to fold butterfly back open into their set position with the doors closed. Um, it's got a speed ratio that you're able to adjust to make it you know, open quickly or open slowly, your choice as to what you want to do with it in that sense there. A very slick item. And again, for I name it to the Northeast mainly because that's where a large amount of uh, um, um, inset doors are, are manufactured in that area. So now moving on to the base pullout. So the base pullout, um, our unit is mounted to both the floor and ceiling, which makes it very rigid in the opening. It allows us to be able to have tight tolerances. Um, we've got a 60 pound load rating for the unit itself there. We now have two different heights on the frames, um, allowing you to be able to do a full height door as in this picture, picture or you can do a uh, door and drawer combination and have a shorter frame. So that range of height is from 20 inches to 32, uh, 32 inches. Um, in this one, we actually offer 13 different tray widths. So again, that three inch increment is totally thrown out. Um, we do from three and three eighths to 20 inches wide uh, for our shelves for that. So again, it can be a filler, it can be a wide unit, um, whichever you've got in your design or your kitchen, this can certainly accommodate. We've got metal trays or metal shelves that allow you uh, to be a more economical version of this. Um, for the narrower widths, we've got um, four different widths on those metal trays um, that fit within the unit. And then we've got optional um, accessory items that can go in it, which are, are these items here. So within the same frame, you would install whatever width trace tray that you wanted to. And at the same time, you have the ability to put any one of these tray options, which are the spice tray, a baker's tray, which would be for cookie sheets and cutting boards and what have you. And then the U-box, uh, which is basically a unit that's just cubbies that those short component areas that would usually go to the top section of the, um, of the base pullout and be able to just make very simple organization uh, feature within the slide itself there. So um, those items again fit within the, any one of those two frames and that can be you know, installed whether it's you know, arena trays, metal trays or any one of these options. So then it comes into our waste bin pullout. Um, we make this simple. We, we sell a single and we sell a double. Um, it's got an undermount runner, uh, concealed. So as you pull it out there, you're not getting debris inside it. It's a hundred pound load capacity. Um, you can either do this in a full height door or you can do this with a door drawer combination. That would usually call out for the bins, either a 36 or a 52 quart bin um, in three different colors. Um, you know, would be the unit itself. Um, have as an accessory, accessory item, as a push to open device, that would be something that would be added to the unit. The normal unit here would not have this crossbar. When you put this diagonal crossbar in here, that would mean that you've got a push to open. So that would, these would be the components that make up that particular unit. It's a mechanical operation to be able to give that push to open feature for it. Um, 
no change is required to the unit. There are a couple of things that you had to do to the standard waste bin pullout to make it work, but no changes to the installation itself. This larger piece gets mounted to the back of the, um, the cabinet. This piece here gets mounted to the frame and then these pieces get mounted to the door. So it's easy to retrofit as long as you're using the, the, the newer unit of, of, of our waste bin to be able to make it work. By the way, this is, uh, we are partnered with this particular product. Headache actually makes um, our soft close feature within our push to open here. So I'm proud to say that for our sponsor. This will be a video of the unit itself, uh, kind of showing it in, uh, you know, with an, uh, a knee kit to be able to open the product. Again, this is done without any power. This is a mechanical unit to be able to work the, uh, the push to open device. So moving on to uh, under sink uh, storage, um, we've got Portero, which is floor mounted under sink caddy, available in one or three basket sets, as you see in the picture there. Um, both of them contain a caddy, the, the capability of being able to lift that caddy off and to be able to bring your cleaning supplies into a different room. Um, very nice feature in the sense that it's cleanable, dishwasher proof, all those type of things that you would want in a unit like this to be able to uh, just organize that, that under sink cavity. There's a little video for it also. Top section of it swivels to the left or right side to be able to bring access to either side of the unit when you've got the, the, the three basket style. As you can see, you got a lot of cleaning supplies in a very tight area. We also have these organizer clips to be able to uh, um, organize the unit, especially for the caddy that you're picking up and moving around so your items aren't moving, you know, as you're carrying it, what have you and stuff. Again, so everything is soft clothes. And for a more of an economical version of this, we have the cleaning agent, which is basically the same purpose product, but just a little less expensive, you know, in its application. Uh, the top tray does not flip over from side to side, so you can pull the unit all the way out to be able to, you know, get the, the items that are stored underneath the top tray. But you still got the caddy to be able to lift off and carry those supplies to a different location. So then we start with our drawer organization. Uh, this is our straight line program. Um, the straight line um, helps in the organization of what we call as top drawers and deep drawers. So you've got the capability with all of these components to be able to customize you know, your drawer sets um, in any configuration that you want. We've got a tool that I'll talk about here in a moment that is a pick a picture. So we've got pre-designed um, sections of this to be able to make it very simple to uh, choose which items that you wanna put, what, what, what that drawer is actually gonna be used in that location of the drawer. So I know for you as designers, um, I know that there's a lot of time spent in talking to your customer about, you know, these type of features and stuff. I mean, too much time is probably spent with your customer base, you know, and trying to figure out, you know, you know, which drawer is the spatula going in, which is your, your knife drawer, which is, you know, your utensil drawer, which drawer is your junk drawer, you know, what it comes down to. So the bottom line is we have some tools to help you through that process there. So we have predetermined pro, um, configurations of them as the width gets bigger, it's called our drawer set brochure to be able to help you out there. And it does every six inches, um, we give three different uh, choices or more um, for what the layout may be. So you can sit with your client, easily go over with them when you've got your cabinet layout and be able to say, you've got an 18 inch drawer here, a 24 inch drawer here, and another 24 inch drawer here. This one's next to the refrigerator. This one's next to the stove. This one's next to the dishwasher. Where do you see your appliances go and pick them? Now, the beauty of that is, is that for any one of these configurations, um, you can take one product out of one piece and exchange it in another one. The only piece that you're customizing in this piece is this back depth extender. The, the, your shop, whoever it would be and stuff, is going to cut this to length. They're going to rip it to the width that it needs. They're going to create a 16 and three quarter inch space here, which then unifies all the stacked different products that I put in here, which also means that you can take one part and put it in a different drawer. So you can exchange those parts. As you can see from the pictures, we've got um, walnut, ash, painted black ash, 
and then also uh, birch as your choices um, of colors to be able to do this. Um, again, in, in width starting at six inches, you know, out to an undetermined width on your drawer box. We've also got um, a, a, a products that would go into your deep drawers. So you've got the pegboard system that has a system of posts and also partitions that go into it. So on top of that, um, these are sales tools. This is a sales tool that um, I, I, I'm used to selling more to manufacturers and distribution. Um, and um, this is a tool that we cover for both, both on the design side and the manufacturing side. What we have for every one of the products that you've seen here are what's known as STP files or 3D drawings. So these files can be used um, uh, in the design side. You would pick these files, no matter you know, what software program you're using, 2020, Cabinet Vision, whatever it might be, um, you're able to download these from our website and be able to put those into your cabinet rendering drawings. And within that, this, these files have the capability of being able to show access. So you can look very intelligent with your renderings by having the door swing open and you're rendering an electronic version of this door open and then you can pull that base pull out out or you can pull that, that uh, pantry unit out. So it helps you to look more professional in the products that you're helping to suggest to your clientele as to you know, the suggestions that you're, you're giving them to put in the kitchen itself there. And they can actually see those in your renderings um, for that. On the manufacturing side, it's a huge help. Um, what happens here, instead of the shop having to pull out the paper templates that are part of our parts um, from our boxes and everything, laying them inside the cabinet, marking the holes, pre-drilling the holes, and then drilling it in place. For the, the sophisticated manufacturers, they're able to, again, download those, drop those into their drawings and everything, and it will locate all of their mounting holes in the system. So everything is mounted exactly where it needs to be. I, I got off the phone just 20 minutes before I got in the seminar here. It was a customer complaining that on a twister unit, that the twister unit, as it spun around, the shelves, you know, appeared to be wobbling. Well, what had happened there is, is that the cabinet maker didn't set the socket to the top and the bottom in the correct position, which makes our, um, our unit look like it's wobbling as you spin it around. Um, in the case of a manufacturer that's using my STP files, I, I supply them with templates to be able to put them in place, but let's say they didn't or they got it wrong or whatever. A person using the STP files in their manufacturing will have those locations perfectly located and my product will run as efficiently as possible and show that that well. So the STP files are important for not only the design side, but the manufacturing side to be able to do it. So the next question is, is where to acquire um, product? Um, so uh, I, again, I'm talking to a lot of designers here today and everything, and in doing so, um, uh, OEMs, uh, would be your first choice. People that are, you that are buying pre-manufactured products from the large box manufacturers, the large cabinet manufacturers. Most of them have at least a few of my products that are uh, part of their arsenal or library of products or library of accessory items to be go in there. And as you guys know, as designers, you can go through those, pick those items out that you want to use um, within those, um, 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 those choices that the OEMs have made available to you, that would be one way to acquire the product. The other one is, is to actually acquire from your local distributors, whether it be a regional distributor as in Hayflow and Richelieu, or, or excuse me, a national distributor as Hayflow and Richelieu, or as a regional distributor as all these that are listed advanced hardware, Brazos, EB Bradley, Charles, Holdall, and Virginia Tile. These are distributors that literally have, either they have my product on the floor or they have a quick access to my particular product. I'm unique in the sense that I am a, a German made product, um, but I have local warehousing in the United States. Our warehouse is in um, Wilmington, North Carolina. 
um, where I stock every product out of my catalog um, is in, in inventory um, at my location. So my distributors, if, they're, if they don't have it on the floor, we ship within 24, or excuse me, uh, 48 hours, we ship to our distributors um, to be able to do any backup of any products that they don't currently have on the floor or that they've run short of before their, um, their next replenishment container is coming in. So that is a very good working relationship that we've got with our distributors. So everything within our catalog is readily accept, um, uh, accessible. Um, you may have to wait a two week period of time to be able to get it from a distributor on something that he may not um, have in inventory. Um, but again, giving those distributors that lead time to be able to, um, as you're ordering your cabinets, that you can order these particular products and what have you and get those in place. Um, it certainly works. Um, all of them are, you know, uh, quite gifted, I'll say. They're inside salespeople um, in the sense of uh, being able to answer those questions um, on any of the product. Uh, they're very quick to be able to tell you, oh, I've got that in stock or no, it's not in stock. I have to order that from the, they'll say from the factory, but it's actually from our warehouse and stuff. So the ability to acquire our product is, is quite easy. Um, and very, very available in that sense. So this gives me that time again to talk uh, once again on uh, Clever Storage. Um, that is our website um, to be able to get that from that. Our website, um, Laura, who's answering a lot of the questions that are going on right now, she's our marketing director. Uh, she did a fantastic job this year in creating a new catalog. Uh, that catalog is available online. Um, one of the views that we do have that is when you do look at it online, you open it up within um, a format called issue. And the beauty of what issue has is, is that you've got the capability as you open that catalog up and you change the page, um, the items that are on that page that light up in a blue square, and it's very obvious when you flip the page to it, that will give you information to, to either go there or it's got a hot link to it that's got a, a product video that's linked to it. Um, so as you would open up the index page and you wanted to look at a Le Mans, you go to the first uh, page there, table of contents you've got, you hit Le Mans and it will take you immediately to the Le Mans to the catalog point there, it's going to light up two squares that are going to give you different videos that you can watch. So it's a unique feed that we have if you view cleverstorage.com through our website or you save cleverstorage.com from the issue website itself. So you have that capability. It's rather a unique um, feature that you can add for a digital catalog. So we've got, uh, we've got a string catalog. Um, and then we've got that um, uh, drawer set brochure catalog that truly makes it easy for you to be able to um, um, sell our straight line program with the pick to picture type uh, applications that you've got with that. Um, those are also available from us from cleverstorage.com. You can acquire those from your local distributors, any one of those three um, um, uh, catalogs. Um, so those assets are both uh, digital and uh, hard copy for it. So let's, uh, uh, again, we want to thank Hedick for uh, sponsoring these this week. And at that point there, let me flip back here and we can up to open it up to any kind of questions that uh, Laura wasn't able to answer or that you got to display. So anybody hey, with questions? Jamie. I have yes. um, a good general, two general questions about products and the full product line. Um, so first is, um, are there any special considerations when specifying base or tall pullouts with inset cabinetry, specifically weight and tight reveals of the inset frame opening? So um, that's like the epitome of the beauty of our product there and stuff in the sense that um, we have to work with those tight review, reveals that you're talking about with flesh and in, flesh inset. When you look at that, it has to fit not only, you know, eighth inch reveals all the way around, 
but it has to fit within the face frame itself. Unique outside of a standard 32 millimeter system, because I only have to worry about uh, in an overlay application, I just have to worry about just um, the, the gaps themselves, but this one has to fit inside there. So no, there isn't. Um, there's adjustment capabilities that happen um, with my product to give you that side to side adjustment, up and down adjustment, tilt adjustment, both in pitch and in height of tilt, to be able to correct that, to be able to fit inside that inset frame opening. And then unique to face frame cabinets is, is that it's a, usually a little bit shorter in depth. Our, our depth on our cabinet is, is actually built for flush inset applications. So you've got a 20, I believe it's 22 and a quarter inch depth on our runner that would work to be able to go back behind the door in its standard 24 inch deep cabinet. So our product is the product that you'd wanna use both for adjustment, to be able to give you those eighth inch reveals and to be able to fit within those openings. And then in addition to that, we've got the number of tray widths, which I mentioned is 14, to be able to accommodate any kind of width opening that you've got there and give yourself a tight reveal. We look for the trays to be a half inch under the opening. So you've got a quarter inch space on either side of the unit itself. So hopefully I answered that question well enough for you to give it a try. And then here's another good general question, Jamie. Can you just talk about how the product line um, functions about when they're loaded versus empty? Um, I can. So any system itself is built, um, if you look at the, the very heaviest duty uh, product that I have is my Le Mans at 285 pounds. Um, as I said, that's an absolute premium product. It's got a premium roller system to it, what have you. In that particular product, you really can't feel the difference between a product that's loaded and unloaded. But when you talk about a product like a Dispensa, <coughs> which again has a high load rating of 265 pounds, that would actually, um, as the installer of the product, um, and he's doing it for his first time, he's gonna wonder about this product until it's all put together. He's gonna install the roller si the runner system. He's gonna install the frame. He's gonna pull it in and out for the first time. He's gonna feel the different uh, progression that you have with opening up each one of the stages as it opens. But as you add the door, as you add the shelves on it, um, this starts performing to, to its height. And even as you load it up with your items, it actually rolls better. So in that particular case, that's probably my worst case scenario that out of the chute, empty, it rolls well enough, but it certainly rolls better once you start loading it up with weight to the point that it's a very fluid motion um, within the system itself. Um, you don't have that near as much with the base pullout, um, mainly because it wasn't designed to take on um, more weight. Um, so that movement is very good from the very get-go without any weight in it. So there is a difference between each one of the products. Um, until you do get it loaded with weight, you have all of them are at their, their height of, of movement when you've got storage to it. Awesome, Jamie. Those were the, the real standout um, general questions. And uh, you did address something else that I thought was important to mention, um, how we're connected with Headache and, you know, the, the product that we do partner with them on um, just to kind of, you know, bring it full circle. So I appreciate you touching on that as well. Yeah, we, uh, Headache is a good partner. I mean, we have a number of products that we buy from there, not just the PTO. We have some of our drawer systems within um, actually, more of the products that are over in Europe uh, are utilizing um, a lot of the headache uh, products um, um, within their arsenal itself there and stuff. So yeah, we do partner with that. Um, let's see, we still have a, a few more minutes here. And I'm trying to think of, um, um, Deb, do I have the capability of getting on our website real quickly? I think you can. If you're sharing your screen, yes, you can. Okay. And then I just wanted to ask Dimitri if you had anything that you'd like to add today, Dimitri. Yes. So uh, I have to say it was a very good presentation. And uh, I, I just wanted to say that Hadich and Casa Boomer, they are partnering in Europe and both of the companies, they stand for quality. And that's, 
that's one of the trademark of heritage we stand for quality and Casa Boomer also is known for quality. Okay, thank you. And there is a question here. Uh, I think I'll just pull that out from, it says, what is the push to open device called that you showed with the waste bin, please? You named it, push to open, or we nickname it as the PTO. So it's an accessory item that would be part of our waste bin pullout. Um, yeah, just that. I mean, as unique a name as that is, uh, that's where we're at. So this again is our website here. You can see the STP files are coming across the banner here. Um, you know, to be able to do this. This particular website, uh, Laura's done a great job with it that you would click on any one of these sections here, products, and, and we try to make it as easy to navigate through it to be able to get any of this information. So there for that question there, um, um, so your waste bin pullout here. I went to base pullout or base cabinets first, waste bin pullout, so my internet's opening a little slow. This is why we don't do this on these type of seminars. Put accessory items here. Here's that push to open device here. There'll be a picture that'll come up here if my internet was a little bit slower here or faster here and stuff. So that would be the unit there. There'd be the PTO. Um, we make it pretty simple. I, I, again, I think I'm talking to more designers than anything else here, um, but product information here, here are some downloads of installation drawings and what have you if they've lost them. Or, you know, you, you receive cabinets that, you know, already have product into it. Well, for whatever reason, you're looking to change it or whatever, and you have no idea how to install it. It's very simple to be able to just jump on our website, click on any of these to be able to get that. Uh, product videos, um, we would have installation videos, and we've got um, product videos to be able to go along with it. Um, so to navigate through this is to be able to get any of that information. I didn't show you any pictures of the deep drawer organizer um, for the straight line program. Um, so straight line here with deep drawers. And again, slow. But it'll give you pictures here to be able to show your clientele. Um, you can go to the bottom here, pull any of these pictures up that you want to be able to add to any of your quotes that you're giving your customers. Um, uh, certainly those are uh, 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 available for you to be able to download and use um, our catalogs. Let's go there. Well, here we go. Uh, this will be those drawer sets. It's a little bit slow. Oh, here we go. The catalog. So this is our main catalog here. Um, straight line brochure, which is all the details there. And this is that drawer set brochure, which um, is, 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 is very, very helpful um, in the ability to be able to um, uh, help you sell the straight line program to your customer base. So here we are speeding up, um, go to full size. And you can see uh, we have six, 12, 18, 24. And on the back page, we've got 30 and 36 inch. So we give examples of those particular, particular drawers. We call them by, their, by a name, a city name. Um, and you would just talk to any one of our distributors and you would say, hey, I, I, want, I want a Paris, um, I, I want a Dublin, and I want a Boston, and I want it a Walnut. And they would have all the parts and configurations, all the parts listed uh, to be able to create that kit. And they send that out to you as a kit. Uh, they pull the parts and pieces to be able to get that to you and what have you. So it makes it very simple. So as you're sitting down with your customer, again, you have an 18 inch drawer, a 24 inch drawer, at another 18 inch drawer, your customer then can then pick from this um, you know, picture book um, as to what they want in that, what items fit those needs in those particular items um, in that particular drawer in that particular location. Um, Laura, anything else I should cover on? No, sir, I think you did a fantastic job. Okay. Um, I would like to thank, um, NKBNA on inviting us to do this. We enjoy doing this. Um, I see we've got, uh, what, 160 or 176 participants. This is a great venue for us, especially with uh, the arrangements that we have with our pandemic, um, not being able to get out and see uh, you in person and what have you and stuff. So these type of um, webinars are very important to us and 
hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please let Deb know in your evaluation of the program, um, whether or not it was worth your while, then whether you'd like to invite us back to come and uh, do something a little bit more specific where I'm not rushing through, you know, the full product mix to give you that great overview um, of what we have. Hopefully you have learned um, the type of items that are, that are really readily accessible to be able to totally enhance your kitchen projects. Um, um, certainly the, 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 component, the components of, that have been around for many years are still available. This is a very different look, a very different feel, and it accommodates so much more. And as you saw through all of it, it's the same look throughout the kitchen. So not only do you have your overall you know, look or that first look of an, a finished kitchen, but you can have just as much of a surprise as you open up the doors of that kitchen and have that interior absolutely jump out at you and have that consistency from each one of those openings to give you that, that continuity throughout the whole project. Um, my product really does look the best when you have three or more custom boomer items in it because it truly shows off that interior. And as we know, interiors are changing. I mean, you know, it's not just the particle border. It's not just white melamine anymore. It's, it's linens, colors, um, everything is part of that interior now. It's, you know, it's getting as much, almost as much attention as the outside of the cabinet and everything. So um, it's a good time to take a look at our product line. Well, I want to, this is Debbie again. I want to thank you so much, Jamie and Laura from Casa Boomer for this presentation today. You did a fantastic job. And thank you to our sponsor, Hedick and Dimitri. And I know Felicitas is out there in the uh, audience. I want to thank, thank you, everyone. Pleasure. Yes, this has been great. And we definitely would love to have people come back. So again, thanks to everyone uh, out there for joining us too. Have a great day. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You.